Hello and welcome to the episode number 12 of my KB series. This is where I'll be explaining some basic computer networking terms and tasks, the ones that I think are useful to know in order to understand the main videos of this channel better. And in this episode, we're gonna see how we can connect a Windows computer to a hidden Wi-Fi. The hidden Wi-Fi that we're gonna try to connect to is called Home Wi-Fi. Now, because it is hidden, my laptop is not going to be able to detect its name. So, the name is not going to show up on this list. In Windows 10, if I scroll all the way down, I should be able to see this hidden network. And as the name suggests, I can use this to connect to my hidden network. So, if I click on it, I should first enter the Wi-Fi name and then the Wi-Fi password. And if everything is correct, I should be able to connect. If I have checked this connect automatically option, then as long as the network is available and the computer is powered on, then it should automatically connect. If I have not though, then the next time I want to connect to this hidden network, I should be able to find it on this list and can simply connect. So basically I won't have to do everything from scratch. Now there is something here that is definitely worth noting. This one, unlike the rest of them, is not itself an SSID. This phrase is not a Wi-Fi name. It is just something that I can use to connect to my hidden Wi-Fi which is not on this list. Now, just keep in mind that someone else, potentially a hacker, could also create a wireless network and name it exactly the same as this, which is gonna also show up on this list. Their intention could be to trick people to connect to their Wi-Fi instead of this. So this way the hacker can access and steal their information. So to avoid that, first of all, I need to make sure that I'm using the one which is at the bottom of the list. Also, it has to be a secured network because the one that the hacker has created is probably going to be open with no password. So this way everybody can connect. And finally, if I'm using the right one, it should ask me to enter the name or SSID of the network that I'm trying to connect to. The other one is not gonna do that. Thank you very much for watching this KB video. Please like it if you liked it and subscribe if you like to see more. Thank you again and I will see you soon.